Hey my bowl of cereal, are you a Greg? Are you just some guy that also happens to be a little stinker? Or maybe you're like me, just some little stinking guy called Greg. Either way, you're probably aware of the now half a decade long ongoing joke that these two hilarious goofballs are the same person. And we are not the same person. Well, it has to stop. We've got to stop calling them the same person. And let me explain why. Don't ask me why I made them, I, uh, just did. Anyway, a few days ago, while I was procrastinating for an upcoming college deadline, I did my best looking for the longest possible YouTube video I could find featuring at least one of my favorite creators. And oh boy, did I strike gold. Cody Cole and Drew Gooden talking for an hour and 18 minutes, wasting away my student loans never yeah. felt so rewarding is you guys are not the same person at this point i mean i i can speak for danny too because we've talked about it we are so tired of it of the joke because it's like i'll <laughs> yes. post something and it's like well, the joke is like i'll comment or i'll make a video and someone's like oh great video danny and it's oh, like yeah, i just yeah. feel like i'm not getting credit for yeah, you know yeah. and same with him. Huh? yeah so on several occasions throughout the entire podcast episode both cody ko and drew gooden talk about the now five year long ongoing joke where people will switch drew and danny's names around as if they're the same, same person, person. Because when they first started out on YouTube, they made very similar videos. Uh, they're both white guys with almost the same hair color, uh, almost the same eye color. They both have a selfie with Justin Bieber. And they both feature the same MS Paint art in their video background. Oh wait, no, that's just... This is something I stole uh, when I broke into Drew Gooden's house last week and stole his computer monitor. But he doesn't need to know about that. And so every time the same person's subject was brought up during the podcast, Drew seemed like seriously agitated by the fact that the him and Danny being the same person bit is still an ongoing thing in every video either of them make or feature in. And to be honest, hearing Drew talk like this kind of upset me. Because that little stinking guy uh, makes a completely fair point and I get why he's annoyed. It just sucks seeing Drew upset, dude. That shit breaks my heart. Keep our wise out of it. So I wanted to make this video to dive into all the reasons Drew mentions in this podcast relating to why he and Danny are both so sick and tired of this joke still being so popular after all these years which i can easily prove my point since on this exact podcast episode there are still people in the comments making that exact joke but people just like the joke is like i'll comment or i'll make a video and someone's like oh great video danny and it's uh, like yeah. i just feel like i'm not getting credit for yeah. you know and same with him like yeah. he'll so one of like, the first reasons drew gives is that when either of them puts like a huge amount of effort in creating a video and then post it it doesn't feel like they get the deserved credit and like the videos they make are of such high quality that i think they deserve nothing but credit I probably could have just bought a wig. Too late. And some of you might be thinking, Make the joke. We no mean harm. And I get that. And so does Drew. Uh, he's aware that it's a joke when people leave such comments. But that doesn't mean that he has to like them. Right, Drew? <laughs> And a perfect example of this that Drew actually brings up during the podcast is his and Dan's... Uh, dance? Uh... Well, I guess now that he's a dad, we've got to call him Dan. Right, Danny? Balls. The perfect examples are Drew and Danny's separate Wired interviews. Uh, I went on, like, Wired, and then he went on Wired a few months later, and then all the comments on his were like, oh, I thought Danny already went on a couple months ago, and it's like... We can't even, like, yeah. have our own individual achievements yeah, yeah, because yeah. sometimes people just, you know. A once-in-a-lifetime interview that kind of symbolizes a unique milestone of success you've achieved as a content creator. But then imagine seeing, like, thousands of comments where most of them aren't even about you or the actual video. So now if you look either up or down, you're in between thousands of similar comments making the same exact joke. So there's nothing funny about this, uh, except for the fact that Wired themselves pinned and hearted it. <laughs> Et tu 
wired. But do you know how many people I would personally game and to be at a point of achievement that I'd get asked to do a wired interview? Well, uh, none. Committing crime? <laughs> I don't think so, bozo. But it's still a really cool achievement and impressive to be given such an opportunity. Yeah, it must suck to have this happen in every single video you're in. Reason number two, overstepping boundaries. Yeah, so this one's kind of fucked up and somehow I was still surprised by this, which is that some people on the internet really haven't heard of boundaries. Boundaries? You mean like your subscribers? Subscribers following you on Instagram.com slash Gypsy Serial? No, no, no. I'd want my subscribers to follow me on Instagram.com slash Gypsy Serial. No, no, I'm talking about photoshopping Drew Gooden's face on Danny's pregnant wife. What the fuck? Why didn't you tell me sooner? That is I saw weird. someone photoshop. Uh, they've posted their pregnancy photo. And I saw someone photoshop my head on Laura's no, body. No, that is and I'm like, not good. What are we doing? That is not, that is not good. Is he, yeah. Yeah, I know. I always thought of Drew Gooden and Danny Gonzalez subscribers, which I'm a part of, as the more sane YouTube subscriber bases. But somehow, in every single subscriber base I'm in, there are at least some deranged individuals. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a deranged moron in every single fan base. Nah, <laughs> I'm completely normal and sane. Right, guys? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, stink, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what the shit, dude? Who thought it was okay to Photoshop someone's friend caressing their wife's pregnant tummy? Would I be pissed off if someone Photoshopped my friend caressing my girlfriend's tummy? That was a rhetorical question. Of course I'd be pissed off. Except if that friend were Henry Cavill, uh, but then I'd want them to be Photoshopped on my pregnant tummy. There are also just countless of pictures where Drew and Danny are switched between their wives. See, it's one thing to make the joke about Drew and Danny, uh, but dragging their wives into it is another thing entirely. Really, I mean, it's one thing if it's just Danny and I, but they'll call like Amanda, Laura, and Laura, Amanda, and it's like, keep our wives out of it. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. act like I'm, don't pretend I'm married to his wife. Like yeah, that's where exactly. it gets really weird. Yeah, you know, yeah. Or, their that... wives probably have their hands full just living with them. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> Welcome back to my Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing here? Hey guys, oh welcome back to the- <sighs> Balls. A little stinker. Oh my god. Drew, get out of here. I gotta go pee. And now that Danny's a dad? What? Are you going to switch their kids once that Drew gets a kid as well? We weren't really planning soon, but it's like now I feel like I can't, I got to give it a couple of years because it's like if we have a kid around the same oh, time. Oh, then they're going to be like, like, oh, you, yeah. Then they're, they're going to call the kids each other's names. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, don't drag them into this. That's true. Are we going to start altering their family pictures? No, and stop thinking about it. I'm not trying to give you IDs. I'm trying to stop you from enacting on them. Because it is an actual concern that Drew has. Uh. Then they're, they're going to call the kids each other's each other's name. Yeah, yeah. You might think he's joking and I'm sure he is to some extent, but I assume he has actually thought of postponing getting kids himself so that it's not as similarly timed with Danny and people don't start switching their names as well. Because that'd be a fucking creepy thing to do. But now the third, last and probably most crucial reason, and it's also just the biggest crime in the world of comedy in my opinion, criminal amounts of joke over usage. At this point, I mean, I, I can speak for Danny too because we've talked about it. We you're so tired of it, of the joke. <laughs> because after five years, you're not beating a dead horse anymore. We're dancing on the ashes of the cremated dead horse. What, you thought I was going to bury the horse? I can't dig a hole that big. Look at my arms. But yeah, a joke like this, where you just point out specific superficial qualities of someone or something, always gets stale at some point. I'm sure both Danny and Drew found this joke hilarious for the first few months. But after years and years and thousands of comments, anyone would get sick and tired of it. So yeah, we've had our fun for the past half decade, but now we collectively have to stop making this joke. I am, however, still going to listen to their We're Not The Same Person song whenever I take a long hot shower and nobody's home. I am Danny, and we are not the same person. We may have similar lives, we may have similar wives, but we are different nonetheless.